In this video, we're going to work on analyzing complex circuits and labeling light bulbs as bright, dim, or off. So in these problems, we don't have distinct routes. And so we want to use a strategy where we highlight different voltages. So electricians actually use different colors to represent different voltages. So they know what wires are doing what. And so we're going to use the same thing to analyze these routes. All right, so let's go ahead and start off. And we're going to use red to represent high voltage. So anything that's directly connected to the positive end of the battery, I'm going to highlight red. Okay, now this voltage will only change, get used once I hit an inner, once I hit a light bulb. So I'm going to highlight everything I can in red without picking up my pencil. Anything that's directly connected to the other end of the battery, we're going to label low voltage and we're going to highlight with blue. Electricians generally use a black wire to represent that. So again, I'm highlighting anything I can get to that's directly connected to the negative end. Notice that I can't trace over a light bulb because it takes voltage to push current through a light bulb. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is anywhere I have something between high and low voltage, let me go ahead and label my high voltage and my low voltage. Any area I have between high and low voltage, I'm going to highlight purple, and I'm going to call that medium voltage. All right, so then I can look at each light bulb. I know if a light bulb, so I know that looking, thinking about inside a high voltage wire, we have lots of excess positive charge. And that positive charge is trying to get away from itself. It's trying to flow towards the low voltage. So if I have a light bulb that is touching high and low voltage, I'm going to label that bulb bright. So the two sides were high to low voltage. Anytime I have a light bulb that is touching a high voltage and a medium voltage or a medium to low, then we have, to get from high to low voltage, we have to push through two different light bulbs, so those light bulbs will be dim. So we have a difference, but it's not high to low. So we can have high to medium, or medium to low. All right, if we take a look at light bulb A, What's going to happen for light bulb A is it has the same amount of voltage, so the same amount of pressure on both sides. And if you have the same amount of pressure on both sides, no current's going to move. So light bulb A is going to be off because it has the same on both sides. If we want to look what would happen to the current, current always flows from high to low, like a ball rolls downhill. So current would come out of the battery and split. Some heads to A, some heads towards C, or some heads towards B, some heads towards C. Now this current actually has no reason to travel through A because it ju just can get to the negative end of the battery following this route. It's just one light bulb on that route. The other current will travel through C and later travel through D. So two bulbs on the route, that makes it dim. There's no reason for any current to travel through A and in fact the current will use all of its voltage to get through B and wouldn't have anything left to push through A. So a was off, B was bright, and C and D were both dim. Let's take a look at one more situation. So in this situation, I'm going to start off and highlight my high voltage in red. So again, coloring everything I can without picking up my pen or without push going through a light bulb. So we have all of that will be high voltage. From the negative end, I'm going to use blue. And all of this is going to be low voltage. All right, anywhere between red and blue. So again, remember current always tries to push from high voltage to low voltage. So between red and blue, we're going to have purple. 
So let's not talk about light bulbs A and B just yet. We'll talk about the other ones. So following our rules from before, light bulb C will be bright. So current can push from here straight from high voltage to low. To get from high to low right here, we have to go through two light bulbs, making them dim. Now if I look at light bulbs A and B, I have high voltage on the left side of A and high voltage on the, on the right side of B. So current's kind of pushing in from both sides with equal amount of voltage. Since there's equal amount of voltage, no current's going to flow through there. So light bulbs A and B will be off. So I wouldn't color between A and B. If you did, you would actually color red. I don't because it's a little bit confusing since the rule is we don't want to jump over a bulb. But actually, so at, right when you inserted the battery, a little bit of current would flow in through A and B until we had high voltage in between those. I'm not going to color it because it's a little bit confusing.